佩同主礼嘉宾。Electric vehicles are touted as part of a solution to Hong Kong's air pollution problems. But will EVs help clear the air? The government thinks so, yet some environmental groups disagree. They say the focus should be on the city's biggest roadside polluters, commercial vehicles and buses. We think all. Honestly, there's、uh, some kind of like distraction here, because well, you should target the buses, and instead you're talk you're talking about oh, like private vehicle is、uh, yeah, it's not that, it's it's not the priority, I think. Roadside pollution today is six times greater than what it was just four years ago. Environmental groups note that buses account for forty percent of roadside emissions. They say efforts should be focused on converting these vehicles to more environmentally friendly technologies. The government、uh, in Hong Kong, I think, when they want to promote electric vehicles, they should really、um, be careful in, in setting a right direction.、Uh, what I see the government wants to do now is to promote electric car first, or in the first stage. But I think. They should really promote the electric public transport. If the aims of government bringing in electric vehicles is to clean up our roadside air, then they should really go for the bigger uh, uh, public transportation, which will use most of the time on the road, and the mileage is even higher than any private cars, and the time running on the road is the highest. The main source of air pollution on the roads is not really from private vehicles. It's not a point lost on the government. Beijing already has 50 electric buses on the road and plans to double that number. London has deployed a fleet of hybrid buses ready for the 2012 Olympics. Hong Kong officials are watching these efforts closely, but for the moment. They say EV buses just aren't ready for Hong Kong's roads. Difficult. I think it would do take some time. We've heard quite quite a bit of uh, uh, effort made you know, in London and so forth to try to in introduce that. We're watching that very closely, and I think for Hong Kong,、uh, if we were able to to change at least part of our fleet, the bus fleet,、uh, into electric vehicle, I think it would do a, a a lot of good things for our air. There are two other points that green groups make about electric vehicles. First, unless power companies switch from coal to cleaner fuel inputs, EVs will just mean higher electricity demand and thus more air pollution. Instead of coming from the tailpipe, more pollution will come from the smokestacks of coal-fired plants. Their second point is that EVs could create new environmental burdens. Little discussed is how old batteries from EVs will be disposed of. By and large, however, green groups say that government officials can take immediate steps to improve air quality. They don't need to wait for EV buses to be commercialised. About 75% of the city's bus fleet still runs on highly polluting Euro 2 standard engines, or worse. But the last of these buses are not due to retire for another 10 years. In 2019, you're more likely to see universal suffrage in Hong Kong than tougher emissions standards for buses. Well, the government, in my opinion, they're afraid of taking big step. They're afraid to bear the political consequence because, well, you know now, like they take they make a decision, and if the public outcry is is huge, and they embarrass themselves, and someone need to quit. So, yeah, but they, yeah, I think the government they. Probably they don't have the mandates, so yeah, they're not.、Uh, I think they're very timid. <laughs> the government, nevertheless, insists that EVs have their role to play. They say that EVs, along with the creation of more pedestrian-friendly districts and reducing bus routes, will lead to improved roadside air quality. EV would be、um, a very interesting、uh, element in our sort of.、Uh, Package of policy in tackling roadside emission.、Uh, clearly, counting on EV alone may take a, a much longer time. But to deploy a cleaner technology in a congested、uh, urban transport 
system is something that Hong Kong should uh, continue to pursue. And also, that's something that Hong Kong has in fact uh, done with some success. Look at the uh, LPG-driven uh, taxis that we have successfully converted from the old diesel engines, which improved air quality. So Hong Kong actually is capable of uh, sort of uh, accepting, uh, receiving new technology as a way to transform uh, our transportation mechanism. So together with the uh, increasing emphasis on wheel-based uh, transportation, together with our measures to uh, have more pedestrianisation in busy uh, areas, EV would have uh, an interesting role to play.